In this video, we're going to go over volumes of interest, which are abbreviated VOIs. So VOIs are useful for if you want to highlight a certain part of an image. So say on this image right here, I'd like to highlight this area. So what I can do is click on this image, go to VOI, New VOI, and it gives me a few options of different types of VOIs that I can draw. Uh, in this case, let's say I want to draw a rectangle shaped VOI. I can click on this then click on the image and start drawing. So now I have a rectangle. I can make it any size I want and I just let go of the mouse to draw it. Now say that I want this VOI to uh, select to have the same exact VOI on this uh, identical image over here or it could be a, another image. I would click back on this image, go VOI, edit VOI, excuse me, select VOI, select all VOIs. So now this VOI is selected. And I can go to VOI, edit VOI, copy VOI. Now I've copied it. And then I click on the other image, go to VOI, edit VOI, paste VOI. So now I have that same exact VOI on this image. You can also, uh, if you have a VOI selected, you can move it around. So move it to different areas. And um, you can't move it through the slices, to my knowledge, but you can move it around on that slice. Now, say that I no longer want this VOI here. I can go to VOI, Edit VOI, and Delete VOI if it's selected. And now the VOI is gone. There are other types of VOIs. I'll show you a couple. There's an ellipse VOI, so you can draw like circles or ellipses. It's a little harder to control, but you can draw something like that. Um, there's a line VOI where, sorry, new VOI, where you click and then you can draw like a line. And if you want to get rid of these, just go to select, um, select VOI, select all VOIs and then edit VOIs and delete VOIs. One VOI that I find particularly useful is the polygon VOI. So go to VOI, new VOI, draw polygon VOI. You can use this to kind of control what shape you're getting a little better. So say that I would like to select this, uh, the, the CSF in the middle, or the ventricles. So I could, um, so I've already clicked on a polygon VOI, so just start clicking and you will draw something that looks like the ventricle. And you can be as detailed as you want with this, you can draw them much closer together, but uh, to save time I'm just going to draw a very sloppy one. And then just click on the point that you started at to complete it. So now you have, if I click off of it, this uh, ventricle VOI. And say I want this on a couple slices, maybe I want to do the entire ventricles. What I can do is click on this VOI, so I clicked on that there, go to VOI, menu propagate. So I can uh, push the VOI up, like copy it up into the next slice, or copy it down. Or you can actually do prop VOI all, and that will put it on all the slices. But I'll just go up. So now I have the same um, VOI on slice 149 as well as 150. Say the ventricles have changed shape, or they, you know, they're a little different in this slice. I can edit this by just uh, clicking on it, and I can kind of make it, you know, whatever shape I would like. Kind of adjust it, but this saves a lot of time so that. If you want to do an entire structure, you don't have to redo the VOI every time. And then I can just propagate this up again. Now I have three slices that I've segmented. And let's say I've done the entire ventricle, which I'm not going to do here. I can also turn this into a mask so that I can mask out the ventricles. So what I would do there is I would click on the image go to VOI, select VOIs, select all VOIs, so this will select 
on all the slices, that uh, VOI. And then I go to VOI conversion and do VOI. You can either do a binary mask or a short mask. But one tip, if you're using R, the package Analyze fMRI, does not read the binary mask that this produces, so it's best to use the short mask. And I believe the same problem, uh, MATLAB has the same problem. I'm not really sure why this is, but I always use the short masks because I always use these in R. So click on VOI all to short mask. And what this produces here is if I put these on the same slice, I'm going to make this larger, and then I'm going to go to slice 149, which is right here. So now my VOI has been created into a binary mask, or I guess a short mask. And um, so in one slice, one let's link these images up. So click on the link. Now when I scroll through, slice 150 and slice 151, we have this. And you can save this just like uh, a regular .nii file, and then you can open it up in another program if you would like to. And then another cool thing is say that you have a mask. So say this is a mask that I had, and I would like to make a VOI from it. You can go to VOI, then to Mask Conversion, and go Mask to VOI. And this will create, now we have a VOI around this mask, and you can go VOI, Edit VOI, Copy VOI, and then say click on this image right here, and you can paste that on there. So you can go VOI, Edit VOI, Paste VOI. So now this VOI from the mask is on this image. So that's a pretty useful thing to be able to do. Another cool, I'm going to close these two images. We don't need those anymore. Another cool thing you can do is calculate statistics over a VOI. So if you go, then you, you click on your image, go to VOI oops, uh, statistics generator. What you can do, this is, we only have one VOI on here right now, so we can select that VOI and then click this blue arrow. So now we have um, this over here, and say I don't want that there anymore, just click on the X, but we do actually want that there. And then go to statistics options. So let's calculate a couple of stats over this VOI. We can do uh, the perimeter, the volume, the max intensity, um, let's see, let's do average voxel intensity, so the mean and standard deviation, can also do, say, mode uh, intensity. So then click on calculate, and right here, we get all of those statistics that we wanted to do. So over this VOI, we have um, a volume of 5,300 uh, millimeters, perimeter of 705 millimeters, the maximum intensity is one, about a million, we have the average intensity, standard deviation, and then the mode of the intensity. So that can be pretty useful if you want to know what's going on in a certain region in your image. So just click close when you're done with that. So that concludes the video on um, VOIs. Thank you very much.